Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use external data or data from an external API in your custom Alexa skills. And this is probably one of the most common things you do inside of a, a custom skill is grab data from some external source so that you can use it to generate your response for users. And in this example, we're just going to use a, an API that provides a, uh, a list of the astronauts that are currently in space, an account from this uh, OpenNotify.org, and this API returns JSON. So uh, you can see this is a, exactly what it's going to return. And we are going to, you see this uh, people collection here has a list of the astronauts are, that are in space. And we'll just grab the count. It actually it provides the count here too. So we could do that either way, but let's go ahead and look at doing that. So I'm going to use the um, Ask CLI, which is relatively new to create um, a new skill project called hello world like that and this is creating our project here with some boilerplate code and the the boilerplate code or the starter code that it creates is for a, a hello world skill and it has some uh, some functions in here like the launch request is calling the say hello uh, function down here and by default, it just returns hello world. So this is it's speaking this back or saying this back. And I've got a little test harness that I use for testing locally. And I talked about this in another video. So if um, you haven't seen that or want a copy of this code, I'll, I'll leave a link to the code as well. But it just lets me test locally before I publish it. So I can go node test.js like that. And you can see that it's just returning this, um, let me move this over. So this response here, hello world, that's the response that uh, Alexa is gonna get. And so we're going to, um, actually let's just deploy this now. So uh, move into that directory and now we can deploy it that so now it's just going to push it out to the developer portal so if we it's already done that but let me show you so over here if I refresh now in my list of skills I can see my new hello world skill and it's building the interaction model right now which can take a, a just a second and then it'll deploy the Lambda function. And right now, it's just the, the default code that the um, Ask CLI creates. So we're going to change this up. Well, that's deploying. I'm going to go like this. And that's all deployed now. Or, well, it's still going. It's finishing up. So now it's done. We'll just test it out and say, Alexa. Oh, actually, you know what? When you use the CLI, um, and it's deployed the skill, you need to go in and enable testing first. It doesn't enable it by default, so we're gonna enable it. And now we should be able to go, Alexa, open Hello World. Hello World. Okay, so that is all working. Now we're gonna go back here and modify this to uh, respond with something from, well, the count, the astronaut count. And we're going to use the HTTP module, and that's just this is part of Node. Um, so this is HTTP like that, and there's a request method that I'm going to actually just do this. Let me copy and paste this to save us a little bit of time, and I'll tell you what's going on. So this is some code that I did earlier. All right, so here we, um, we're using part of the HTTP um, module has this uh, request method and it's gonna, gen it's gonna make a request to the, uh, to the URL and actually we need to pass some options in here. So we'll go and the options are gonna create the request string. So let's see if I can remember this, it's, um, we need the host, and the host is going to be the host name for the API. In this case, here, this open 
notify.org or api.opennotify.org and we're going to need the port and that is just the default um, port 80 and we're going to need the method and the method is going to be get and we need the path and the path is just this part of the URL here so we'll grab that okay so we're going to pass the options in and uh, it's going to make a request to that URL grab the uh, the results and we're going to um, push the results into this results variable here and then parse it into uh, a JSON object and then respond here with um, hello there are and if we go back over here you can see again there's that people collection so we're using the length of that people collection there's also a account here we could just do results number but let's change this people in space so this should respond with hello there are, are however many six people in space and it's also generating a card which we really don't need that. Let's just get rid of that for simplicity. And we don't need this anymore either. This was just the, the boilerplate stuff. So now um, I am going to test this. Let's go back over here and test it. Okay, there it is. So it's we're getting our there are six people in space. Now we'll deploy it and test it for real. So um, and now it's updating and rebuilding our um, interaction model, pushing it out to the developer portal and in a second here we'll be able to uh, test it and make sure that it's all working okay okay so now it's all deployed and we can test it out let's see Alexa open hello world hello there are six people in space. Probably remove this comma to make it sound a little bit more natural. But anyway, that is what uh, what we were looking for. So that is calling an external API and grabbing data and using it in your custom Alexa skill. Uh, this is a real simple example, but hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those here and I'll respond just as quick as I can. If this was helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the Data Lab channel. Thanks so much.